dance floor. To me, in my opinion, this week has been emotional for Abby. She has been having an emotional breakdown nonstop ever since the twins and Christy left. So I'm hoping this week will be better, better because the girls are practicing in the studio while Abby, who knows where Abby is at this point. Over at Candy Apples. Over at Candy Apples. Yeah, I think my mom really needs to understand and get over it. I don't care that Maddie's the best. I just want to go and dance with my friends and for Miss Abby again. It's no fun here at Candy Apples. Amy, gonna happen. Look, don't get me wrong. I want to go back to Abby Lee Dance Company too, cause that's my home. That's where I've danced for for years. But as long as Mom doesn't want to go back there, we're not going back there. Look, I can see what's happening here. And I don't like it that my girls aren't happy, but we're not going back to Abby Lee, and they need to realize that. They need to go tell her that we're not coming back there. I'm sorry, baby girls, but we're not going back. Not to that forsaken place. Okay, girls. Pyramids. Um, Skipper. You're in the... Well, actually, no. Katrina, you're on the bottom of the pyramid. When the twins were here before their stupid mom bailed them out, you were talking to them. I mean, if they forget their so what their dance and what they need to do, that's their fault. Don't try to help them. My daughter did not need it to be called out like that. Her face that she gave me was, she was embarrassed. Abby wouldn't call the children out like this. Um, something tells me she doesn't want to admit it, but she really missed the girls and Krusty. Second bottom on the pyramid. Daisy, you were just standing there on stage. We practiced that group dance for weeks. Get a grip, hon. Come on, do better. Your sister... Well, actually, sorry, you're Mackenzie. Actually, your sister is so much better than you, M Mackenzie. Like, really, be like Maddie. Excuse me, you can't favor only one of my daughters. You're going to favor Mackenzie, too, whether you like it or not. No, hon, I favor whoever I want to in this dance world. Before I was rudely interrupted, Third bottom on the pyramid, Stacy. I told you to sway those hips. It looked like your legs were made of hula hoop. I specifically told you to do this. And your legs, oh my gosh, it was awful. Uh, next to the second row, Nia. You did great, absolutely beautiful. But, again, your arms were bent. It was supposed to be straight. Every part of your body, unless you are you have an injury, is supposed to be straight in dance class. Don't let me see you like that again. I'm at to the second row. Katrina, I think you did good. You really outdid some of those kids out there, and some of those kids out there were just hard to beat. And you show them his boss, so that's why you're on second row. But I need you to try harder. Other than that, you would have been on the top of the pyramid. Everybody knows Abby's going to be on the top of the pyramid. I mean, it's so obvious. She's Abby's little favorite. And she's a better, better dancer than me, even. So, yeah, I can see why Miss Chrissy left. I guess, I mean, there's no one left but her. So, it's going to be Maddie. Top of the pyramid, Maddie. My favorite little angel. You did great. You show those kids who's boss out there. You really surprised them with your wild thing solo. I think it was just everything, sweetheart, everything. I totally called it. We don't complain. All we want to do is go back to Abby Lee. She was the best dance teacher ever, even though there were a lot of dramas around her. But being taken out of her dance studio 
was the worst decision of my mom's life. So, there's only one thing left to do. It's a surprise, Mom. You guys led me to that? Um, you're in my dance studio. Because my kids led me here. Look, Mom, Miss Abby. Miss Abby, we were very huge fans of your dance company. Been with you seven, five years. And Mom, taking us out of Abby Lee was the worst decision. Yeah, besides, you guys are acting like little children. Mommy, please. Fine. Fine. You guys will get a duet. Yay! This solo is going to be called Twinning It Up. And Maddie, your solo is going to be called... Huh? Maddie is not getting another solo. You had this child for eight years, and non-stop, she's been getting a solo. No, it's time for someone else, Abby. Excuse me, what's it to you of Abby's choice to make my daughter have a solo? Your solo, your daughter has been, no, she has a solo for the past eight years. So what? She's Abby's favorite. No, you don't even care about Mackenzie. Like, it's always about Maddie. Maddie gets all the love. Mackenzie doesn't. Imagine how she feels. Do not tell me how to raise my children. <gasps> it, no, I'm not going to lie. It kind of hurt my feeling what Miss Chrissy said, but after a while I realized it. Isn't it true? Miss Abby never really notices me. But Maddie is always in the spotlight. I'm in the shadows. Maybe Mommy does love her more. All done. Slime ball, you should be my friend. You're going to be the only person who cares about me anyway. Huh? <laughs> okay, Miss Abby, I promise I'll be back. <gasps> Mackenzie, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? And with all this slime? Um, are you okay? Not really. I overheard their conversation. Oh, honey, you didn't overhear it. They were loud enough so the whole studio can hear it. <laughs> anyway, as you were saying, I'm beginning to feel like it's kind of true. Nobody really cares about me. It was always just Maddie. Oh, don't say that, girl. You know it's not true. I wouldn't be too sure about that. It's not. Like you're overreacting. Come on. I'm going to pull you out of the slime. The slime is my only friend. Um, ahem. <clears throat> Except for you, Katrina. You're my best friend in the whole studio. Don't worry, girl. Don't worry, girl, it's not true, and you know it. Your mother loves you the same way as she loves Maddie. And believe me, that's a lot. I'm never on top of the pyramid. And when I'm not, Mommy doesn't stick up with me. And if Maddie's not, she always sticks up for Maddie. Oh, honey. Little sisters are the best, let me tell oh, you. Oh, thank you, Katrina. You're like a, the best big sister ever. Thank you for helping me. No problem, girl. Now, let's head down there to see if we're in the group dance or not. Let's hope Abby doesn't get mad. Katrina is my best friend in the whole studio. I would do anything for her. She didn't have to really think. Where were you two? Next week on Dance Mom. What is your problem today? You've been giving me the silent treatment all the time. You still didn't figure it out? I know that you love Maddie more. No excuse for, oh, oops. I mean, of course I don't, honey. It's true, isn't it? Don't look for me because I'm not coming back. Oh my God, what have I, oh my God, what have I done? I should have never said those things. Or me, find her. I should have never said the things I said. I love my daughters equally and I should act like it more often. Maybe if you didn't yell at her, you may know a lady. <gasps> Katrina, she didn't mean that. Of course we'll help you. And that was a sneak peek of next week on Dance Moms. Living on the dance floor.